In just the past week, at least three main businesses have been forced into lockdown because of violent incidents happening nearby, sometimes right outside their front doors. And that has some people asking now, how can business owners, their employees and their customers stay safe? It was just last night a man was shot twice in the parking lot of a restaurant in the town of Cornish while people inside the business were sheltering in place. News remains Pearl Small is back in Cornish tonight with how that establishment and others were prepared for the worst. Pearl. Brian and Amanda, this business wasn't directly involved in last night's shooting, but it happened right in their parking lot, and it's put other businesses in the area on high alert. We spoke with people from some of them, as well as police, to find out what they say is the best way to stay prepared for a situation like this. It was a normal Tuesday night for workers at Call's Shop and Save in Cornish until a shooting happened just down the street. When we first heard about it, you know, we figured we may end up having to go into lockdown. A man was shot twice in the parking lot of Fairgrounds Pizza and Pub. Although nobody in the business was hurt, it was too close for comfort that Mark Call can't help but think about how he might react in that situation. It's very concerning happening more and more in the state of Maine, unfortunately. At the Fairgrounds Pizzeria, the owner, who did not want to go on camera, said a server who was outdoors was the first to see the gunman. She alerted other staff and customers. Everyone sprung into action, locking doors and windows and then hiding. Call says he believes he would do the same in a similar situation. You know, staff safety first, do a shutdown, make sure everybody is safe, make sure 911 is called before anything. Maine State Police Corporal Kyle Wells says keeping each other safe is the best thing workers can do if they find themselves in a dangerous situation inside a restaurant or other business. Corporal Wells says that can actually help responding officers do their jobs. Yeah, that's a huge priority because, you know, there's like the scene going on and we need to focus on that. Wells says after the shooting yesterday, they were dealing with the alleged shooter at large and a victim who was injured and bleeding. So the trooper that responded there, um, he took the suspect into custody and then uh, applied a tourniquet to the victim. So he was dealing with both suspect and a victim at the same time. If there are members of the public at risk, it creates an added concern. So Wells says the best way to help is to find somewhere to stay safe until the situation is handled. Everyone these days wants to be a hero and get involved. And uh, again, that's what we're there for. So um, call 911, stay away from windows and doors and make sure they're locked. It's advice many businesses are keeping in mind while trying not to let it rule their lives. So we're a small community, you know, everybody knows everybody and we're trying not to change that feel, but being vigilant is really important. Brian and Amanda, Fairgrounds Pizza and Pub is open like normal for its regularly scheduled hours. All right, Pearl Small, live for us in Cornish. Thank you, Pearl. And while state police were handling that incident in Cornish, they were also involved in a chase with a man they were looking for in relation to a death in the town of Cushing. That chase ended when the man, Jason Hewitt of Augusta, crashed his vehicle onto the lawn of a chiropractic business on Route 3. He then barricaded himself in that vehicle until he finally surrendered to police. He's been charged with manslaughter in connection with the death of Kyle McDougall of Waldenboro. Police are not saying how McDougal died or the circumstances surrounding his death. Earlier this week, another man, Mark Gagnon, Mark Gagne of Cushing, was arrested for abuse of a corpse and hindering apprehension.